It's been a month since a racially motivated attack at a Buffalo supermarket. Vigils were held in parking lots of several Topps grocery stores in Buffalo to honor the 10 people killed in the attack. Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are working to pass legislation to help prevent similar tragedies like these in the future. Survivors, families of victims, and community leaders gathered near the top supermarket in Buffalo, where 10 people were gunned down in a racially motivated massacre one month ago. An outsider with hate in his heart, indoctrinated in the ways of white supremacy, opened fire and killed 10 precious and innocent people. Tuesday also marks three weeks to the day that the massacre at Robb Elementary School killed 19 children and two teachers in Uvalde, Texas. Just two of many mass shootings that have spurred senators to a breakthrough on a bipartisan gun deal. I think it's progress for the country and I think the, the, the bipartisan group has done the best they can to get total support. The agreement does not include provisions Democratic lawmakers have pushed for, including raising the age to purchase assault weapons, but it would include enhanced background checks on those under 21. We need to know before somebody walks in and buys a firearm when they turn 18, what their mental health and criminal record history looks like to the extent feasible. Negotiators acknowledge they're far from the finish line. They now must write the bill and pass it before the compromise hits any snags. I recognize that when you get down to the drafting, get down to offsets, there could be some additional issues that are raised. I would hope we get it done by no later than the end of next week. At least 10 Republicans have so far signaled their support, which would be enough to pass the Senate. House Democrats have signaled their support as well, even though it falls far short of gun control measures passed last week in the House. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. For more on how the city of Buffalo is recovering, I want to bring in Cedric Holloway. He's a community leader and a former SWAT team member for the Buffalo Police Department. Cedric, thanks very much for being with us. How are people in Buffalo doing today? Buffalo is doing better. Um, Buffalo is a strong city, and unfortunately, it took this tragic event to bring us to the forefront to show how strong we are. But there's a, a, a saying that's going around Buffalo, it's that Buffalo's strong, and that's who we are. Tell us about the efforts to kind of rebuild a sense of, of safety and security um, in the wake of this attack. How are people healing so uh it takes a lot uh especially in this community especially uh in this neighborhood so i'm centered in the neighborhood i'm two blocks away from the event mm. um there's been a lot of unreadiness uh, with regards to when tops reopened um a lot of people are uneasy with going back to tops but we need to know uh that we are safe uh there needs to be measures put in place that will ensure uh, the public safety with regards to just being a part of the community. We have a Juneteenth celebration coming up this weekend. A lot of individuals are concerned with that as well. Uh, even though the lightning doesn't usually strike twice in the same place, but folks are concerned and they wanna make sure that they're safe. They wanna be safe in their own community. So, Cedric, given those concerns, um, given the attack itself, what have you seen with regard to the Buffalo Police Department? How have they responded? Uh, so the Buffalo Police Department has responded excellent. Um, they've made themselves a lot more visible. Um, what's great about our situation versus uh, what happened in Texas is that our response was immediate. And as I've taught with active shooter response and, and the like to SWAT teams, the sooner the police get there, the better it is that, um, that, that it is for our victims. Uh, there are less victims when the police show up and do something. Um, Columbine was the grandfather of all the active shooter situations where police sort of waited and the guys were inside doing bad. So. You know, within two minutes, I believe Buffalo, our top response was great. 
and the police have been excellent with regards to follow up. Um, I know that TOPS is wanting to reopen. I'm sure that we'll be there and it will be quite a big event, uh, which will absolutely show how strong Buffalo is. What do you think needs to be done at the local, state, and federal level to try to prevent a similar attack? Well, as uh, I was listening on the story before I came on, there's a bipartisan group of senators that are uh, moving forward for a, a red flag system so that they can weed out potentially dangerous people. That's absolutely great. That's something wonderful to do. Unfortunately, it took something like this to bring both sides together to, to address this issue. I mean, this is not our first active shooter situation that we've had in our nation, but how long does it take for folks on both sides to come together and say, we've got to do something about this? Do you think that this time feels different? Because as you point out, as a nation, we have been here before. This is not the first time that we have seen active shooter situations and seen mass casualties as a result of gun violence. Do you think that this time there can be some kind of coming together in Washington for gun legislation? I absolutely believe that, especially with the push for the public wanting to see some sort of legislation to change the way that these things have been happening. And, and as you mentioned, as I mentioned, this isn't our first time dealing with something like this. Uh, it's time to act though. I mean, the thoughts and prayers are wonderful, but now we need action. And the legislation from our senators, that's a great step, absolutely great step to help uh, solve this problem that keeps reoccurring. Well, Cedric Holloway, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to share your really important perspective with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me.